Yo, what's up, Duff here? We're going for some uh, late afternoon, late Saturday afternoon coffee. And uh, I don't think you can see it on the camera, but I've um, got the V12 here. And uh, we need to talk about the V12, don't we? I think we do. So before we talk about the V12, we can talk about the ZV-1, my new camera rig. I've been, um, I've been, you know, trying to, uh, you know, learn some more about the camera. And one of the things I commented on last week was it seemed like uh, I needed to have the selfie stick very extended to get just even just a wheel in focus or not in focus, but in the shot. And uh, that's, that's actually uh, one of the drawbacks of the ZV-1 is that its field of view is not very big. And if you turn on the stabilization, it uh, makes it even smaller. It crops off the edges to miss, so it makes the picture even tighter. So the options are keep a selfie stick further away from you. <laughs> like I, I have it pretty extended right now, four or five feet. Or uh, you can actually buy like a little, uh, attachment, a lens attachment at the end to give you a wider screen of view, which I actually do have on order, so I will be messing around with that. Oh wow, we got an accident down here, nice. Must be a slow night for the police. It was a, looked like someone rear-ended somebody, Not, nothing severe, but there's at least a half a dozen cop cars there, wow. Talk about a response. Awesome. I said we're going to Dunkin' Donuts, didn't I? Yeah, we are. That's where we're going. And just so you guys know, I don't plan to shoot everything exclusively on a ZV-1. And, and to be quite honest, with um, riding footage like this, it's not ideal, at least not for me. It's better when you know, you're know, just sitting and talking to the camera, I think, or, or wanting to like capture some cinematic looking stuff. Uh, some, you know, I don't know, B-roll. So yeah, I'll still be shooting on the GoPro 9. I actually have it in my pocket. And I'll still be shooting on the it's the 360, no worries. Uh, so, my first non-holiday weekend in a while, right? We're officially out of the holidays. Like I mentioned before, in some ways it was a relief, some ways it's still kind of a bummer for me. But, uh, you know, today was a standard day. Standard day meaning I did standard things, including uh, mowing the grass. So, yeah, nothing, nothing too uh, earth-shattering about my life right now. And just like that, we're here. It's crazy how quick I can get here. Okay. Okay, here we are in the dugout. This is actually um, the same spot I was when I, uh, I talked about some of my disappointments with the V11 after it miserably failed Marty's overheat hill test. So I thought this would be a good spot to come to talk about the latest um, rash of cutout issues and everything related cutout with the V12s. I talked about this a little bit on my live stream and unfortunately we're looks like we got a little bit of wind rocking the camera back and forth. Need to get a better uh, tripod for it. <clears throat> so anyways, yeah I was talking about this in the live stream a little bit. At that time the, the main incident that I knew about there was a, a Facebook thread about a guy that was going down a I believe a hill slowly and the V12 dumped him. And from that point on, there's been a lot of Me Too's, uh, people with second batch V12 uh, that had the wheel cut out on them. Evidently, it's, it seems to be a batch two issue. I don't think I've heard of any people with batch one wheels reporting this. But uh, yeah, it, I guess it got to the point that it was serious enough that In Motion actually uh, posted something, an official, official uh, recommendation as far as what you're supposed to do and uh, including a test to determine if you have uh, the potential for that issue. It's kind of an interesting test. Basically you lift up the wheel uh, and you initiate a, um, a no load spin basically and then you then you rock it back so it breaks suddenly and if your wheel is one of those that has a tendency uh, for cutting out the wheel will shut off doing that. I think they recommended that you do it like 10 times or something like that. So yeah, there, there's a bunch of people did the test, a bunch of people had the test fail. So 
It's unfortunate, you know. It, you know the the issues with the V11, um, with the hollow motor bearing, you know, failures, uh, with the overheat hill failure, with the um, the V11 also has some issues with cutouts as well. And uh, now here we go with the V12. Some of the uh, early V12s, the batch one V12s, some people complained about bearing issues with the early V12s. Knock on wood, mine's been fine in that regard. But now we have a, a rash of cutouts. So the explanation that I heard from InMotion was basically, it sounds like they got a batch of MOSFETs that are um, not up to standard. Like, like they're not performing as they are rated to, they're not performing as they should. And as a result, it's causing cutouts in those situations where there's a, a, um, a high current spike that, that goes through there that's enough to uh, pop it. So unfortunately, your options are basically wait for a new system board, which I think they said March, maybe, or, or just have MOSFETs replaced, individual MOSFETs, which I assume would normally be a dealer function. Um, but of course, it wouldn't make much sense to just replace one MOSFET. You'd want to replace them all, right? That would uh, make sense to me. And there's been uh, talk for a long time how InMotion has um, stuck by the smaller MOSFETs on their wheels, both the V11 and the V12. They, they use smaller MOSFETs compared to what's used in uh, Bugotti and Kingsong wheels. I think the, uh, the bigger MOSFETs are 247s, if my memory is correct, and, and the... Um, in motion wheels use the smaller, older MOSFETs for some reason. Not quite sure why that is. But it, it's not, it's some people, I saw some people in thread saying, oh, well, you know, in motion under-engineered under the wheel. No, I, I don't think so, because um, I've seen V12s put through torture tests that, that um, earlier V12s put through torture tests uh, far worse than that, that spin test, and they were just fine. So I think they just got a, a batch of bad components, unfortunately, and um, it, it adds to a less than stellar reputation that they've had with uh, new wheel launches uh, over the last few years, which is too bad because I love the V12, man. It's a great wheel. It's been a great, great wheel for me. And I was not happy to see that a bunch of people uh, are not having great experiences, great experiences with theirs. That's unfortunate. You know, one of the other subjects that came up in the stream is like how, how it's... Um, in most cases, it's smart to wait for later uh, revisions of the wheel to come out because it seems like always, always, always the early uh, production wheels have issues of some sort. Now you would think waiting till batch two, you know, would uh, give you some time to work some bugs out, but unfortunately batch two seems to have its own uh, unique set of problems. So it's gotta be frustrating, no doubt. Also want to take a brief second to thank people that have been uh, Offer me their well wishes, their, their kind thoughts. I've, I've had a lot of people reach out to me, not just on comments on YouTube, but just people actually reaching out and emailing me and you know, just saying, hey, hey, you know, we've been there too, you know, it, things get better. And of course I know, you know, time makes everything better. And I, I do appreciate all of, um, of the kindness that uh, you guys have shown me. Makes, makes my, my old and dusty heart feel warm and fuzzy inside. Boy, you're lucky I didn't have the, the camera just rolling. And I'm lucky I had a helmet on. Look at this. this I just smashed my head into this uh, cross piece here. I mean, this is a elementary school baseball field, so I guess it's my bad for not, not ducking. But I, um, I said some curse words. Man, I thought um, trying to ride and uh, drink coffee and film was tough with a GoPro. You should try it with the ZV-1, man. Not a good time. You know, I'm just shooting everything with it right now because it's new, you know, it's new. But I just think I need to mix it in, mix it in where appropriate. I think that's the best use of it. The good old track. Still not running. Still kind of wish I could. I don't know. Maybe I'll try to get out here and just like run a mile and see what happens. See what the, uh, see what the end result is. Yeah, what I've been doing a lot of lately, I find myself doing is just... What I find myself doing is like when I'm at, you know, spots or, you know, whatever that I've, you know, frequented for the last, you know, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years or whatever, I just find myself, you know, um, recollecting about, you know, different things that happened there, fun stuff, 
first, you know, challenges, you know, excitement about things, and um, yeah, unfortunately, dwelling on those things um, leads to sadness. So I need to find a way to not do that. That's uh, that's probably my major struggle right now. Okay guys, so uh, yeah, got the annoying light there, sorry. I was gonna wrap it up, I'm home. Um, if you found this video interesting, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comment section below about the V12 lockup issue and in general, the issues in motion has had with uh, their recent wheel releases and actually almost all manufacturers, it seems that they have um, issues uh, with their wheels and um, it's unfortunate, but it, it just seems like it really is the status quo. With uh, with new wheels, there are going to be bugs of some sort, and a cutout an, a cutout problem is nothing to mess with. Obviously, that is uh, that is pretty serious. So if you do have a batch two V12, do the do the stress test that uh, In Motion advises, and then uh, uh, act accordingly. And that'd be my advice. So guys, uh, that's all I have for you for now. I might do a video tomorrow. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I want to do. So. That's all I have for now. Hope you have a great weekend. Until next time, Duffman out. Did I mention that Elsa is awesome? Elsa? Awesome? Elsa? Awesome?